back again with another video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And today I will be going over my gameplay of this duos match. Where we got like really low kills, but we played it super smart. And we got the, the victory royale. While playing it smart. Alright, so here we're, we just got like two lucky supply drops. Just popped a big pot. We just killed a kid up there. That's why I have all this um, brick. I had no brick before. And brick is what I use late game. Alright, we're just uh, getting full on all our stuff before we go into fights. Alright, there's only uh, six people left. Yeah. I was just danger marking that because I thought there were people there. There actually weren't. There was no one there. But uh, the place that uh, my friend marks, there, there is a dude there. All right, so we just we just rotate across the river really slowly. I can't believe we didn't get shot. I was just checking to see if that mountain was in circle, placing a marker on it. My friend actually uses a launch pad. He told me he was going to use it, but I I thought he was going to place it farther up, but he placed it back. I keep I keep trying to get him to go to the mountain because the mountain has height, but he wants to camp in a bush, so like. I just go in the bush, you know? Bush camp strat, third partying. Pretty good. Alright, so there is a kid um, up there in that tower. Well, actually, he's to the right. He'll start building in a minute. We were just trying to spot him. Yeah, there he is, there he is. He starts, like, cranking 90s. And, like, now I suggest, like, we should just launch pad into circle. Just to, because once the circle shrinks, yeah, yeah, we should just launch pad. And I'll finally convince him to. We do it, like, any second now. Yeah, yeah, he's about to launch pad. Yeah, so there there was actually uh, someone, like, rotating over here. And my friend got, like, cracked, like, one time. I just jumped down and, like, started building. So we actually didn't realize, but there are, there are five people left, right? Yeah, five people. So it's um, it's a 2v1v1v1. Three, three solos and me and my friend. We didn't realize that at first because there, there were, like, tons of bases. Man, my bloom like sucked here. I could have hit like all these shots on him. I should have like L2 spammed him or something. And then there was some dude trying to hit a snipe behind a tree. But we that didn't happen. This was like a really low intensity game. Yeah, he told me that he was, the kid over there was low, so I just decided to uh, spam, take out the tree. But then he went behind cover and started pushing for that other fight that was, like, going on over there. So I was just like, nah. And I kept telling him to stay back, but he kept wanting to rush, and I was just like, okay. So I just tried to break a wall so then I could get an easier AR shot to be peaked. And then my friend got, like, lit up by the kid that was down there. So I kept, hold I kept telling him to jump. Because I, I was going to bandage Bazooka him. And I did. I don't even. How does it work from this far away? Like. That's way too far for bandage Bazooka to be able to work. Oh yeah. yeah I forgot to say it. Like at the beginning of this match. We were just like. Playing around. Trying to get like. Heal 100 damage with bandage Bazookas. Because like. That's a challenge for the. um The love versus war thing. And we were just, like, playing around this match. We didn't even mean to make it this far. We just wanted to get the challenge done. I just ran over to connect it so that he wouldn't get knocked down. The last two people are down there. He drops down and kills that kid right there. And I... I I'm just like, I don't see him. But then I see him run through there. And I he's under there, so I just drop down there. I just SMG spray him. And it didn't... I didn't know if I got the kill or not, because it never shows you if you kill the last person, but I, I just realized that I did kill the last person. 